we, I mean, we pass on booking Chris Stapleton. Really? Because. You just broke my heart right now. Broke yours? Oh. Um, yeah, oh I mean, gosh. when you, we, at the time we were at the stage where we were still a hundred seater mm -hmm. and our budget for a band, the tough that was, uh, was at a point. Mm -hmm. And the odd thing was, is that at the time in his career, Chris was actually under that budget. Uh -huh. So I contacted a major booking agent and asked for everybody that was under this level. I mean, uh, money-wise right, and now. Right. Because when you only got 100 seats and you're providing a meal, there's a control setting that you can control. You, you know, okay, we can't spend over X amount of dollars. Right. Um, and it's, it's not that much yeah. in the grand scheme right. of things. I mean, if you're trying to, you know, feed 100 people at $50, <laughs> That's five thousand dollars that you're doing the artist and the meal yeah. to try to break even on it best. Right. Just so in back in those days we weren't even trying to really break even. We looked at it as more as we knew what we wanted to be. We knew our then really had been saying once she stands on the stage for nine and a half years she wanted to be the number one live music thing in the state of Texas. Um, and we had no business to even say that. Um because Ain't nobody knew who we were and nobody knew where we were at. We weren't big enough to be anything. Um, you know, 11 years later, less than 11 years later, you know, we've been nominated for that. So we'll, yeah. see, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Oh, um, but if you do that long enough, you pass, you miss, because at the time, nobody, <laughs> nobody knew who Chris Stapleton was. He was a songwriter. He, he, he was... It's just like there's a hundred thousand people out there right now that that we're watching not in total but i mean there's, there's 10 people out there right now that we're watching um trying to stay in front of their way without overspending but if you if you spend too much in today's community in today's uh, climate and lose five thousand dollars on a show it, it's it's a it's a month it's a month long affecting ordeal. Yeah. Um, so we, we passed on Chris Stapleton to book Charlie Robinson. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, and that's what you would think. And it was a no brainer at the time. Right. Nobody had ever heard of Chris. And, the, and at the same week, we're getting a, an email from Charlie's people at Red 11 going, hey, we want to do two nights with y'all. Wow. And we jumped on it. You go look at the, at the date on the wall yeah. and see when that show happened. Mm -hmm. And I can, I, I, I won't go into the date, but I will tell you that that show with Charlie Robinson happened the Wednesday mm -hmm. after Chris Stapleton was with Justin Timberlake oh. the Thursday before. <laughs> The Friday after Charlie was here, you go back and look, and Chris played Moe's Place and Katie. They were looking for a routing date, and that's why it would have been, we would have had Chris Stapleton the following week after he is literally, I mean, he is the most popular singer on the planet at that point. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, everybody, I mean, Elvis is rolling over in his grave and saying Chris Stapleton's name. He's so popular at that point. Um, and we would have had it, but based upon the fact that at the time, literally six months earlier than in April, that goes on in November, in April of that year, nobody's heard of Chris Stapleton unless you were in this business or you're in Nashville and you understand what's sitting there. Yeah. You know, I, ran, I, I called Jacob, our oldest, who was living in Nashville at the time and ran in the whole list of everybody that I had on there. And I can tell you to this day, I remember three of the names other than Chris's that were on it. Oh, really? that, that are That's Brothers awesome. Osborne is who it was. It was Mo Pitney and it was Sonny Swing. And that was the only three names that even I recognized on it at the time. So I called Jacob, ran him down. Mm -hmm. What does he say when I get to Chris's name? I read all those names. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, you know who Mo is, you know who Sonny is. You know, Brothers Osborne, he goes, but I'm telling you, the best singer on that list mm -hmm. by far is Chris Stapleton. People in the business up here know who he is because he's a phenom. <laughs> Nobody outside of Nashville, <laughs> at, or, you know, like I said, at the time knew. Right. Six months later, you know, what that situation with Chris taught us was that the person can sing, that they're singing from that spot mm -hmm. that's recognizable as authentic. Mm -hmm. Then you book them.